take a step back and you look at it all. And, and life is like this fucking flicker of a flare of a, of, a, of a momentary coincidence. It is a galactic accident that you or I or anyone is here. We are the universe's unwanted, unintended, unplanned pregnancy. Don't ask me who knocked up the universe, but talk about doing the big girl, holy shit. And some people take this philosophy, you know, that we are nothing, that we're just a little bit of a fungus on a, on a rock in the middle of a nothing and a nowhere. Some people find that depressing. I find it empowering. It means that right now is everything. Right now is all that matters. It's all that can matter. Because the past is gone or relegated to a camera phone, and the future is unknowable or at least hard to meet unless you have access to a hovering skateboard and a wacky scientist. So... <laughs> So that means right now is it. How fucking exciting is that? Right now is everything. That's incredible. You know, you, you thought, you thought it was just another boring day, just another dental exam or a hand job, but no, this is it. I find that so much less depressing than the evangelical view of things that we're in a giant waiting room before we head up to another bigger giant waiting room that has comfier shoes and better pillows. All right, if I, Jesus, if I could find a way to stab myself with a cloud and get the fuck out of there, I would. And you take those two together, that we are nothing, and of that nothing right now is everything, and it should change the way we behave. It should change the way we act. We should be caring about, right now, caring about our shared humanity rather than giving a fuck about our looks or our qu clothes, our texts or our tweets, the cash in our wallets or the rash on our balls. But we can't. We can't. And the reason we can't is because of our ego as a species. We all think we're so fucking special, says the guy on stage begging you to love him. We all... We all think we're so fucking special. A surprising number of people think they've been alien anal probed, all right? That life forms have come millions of light years just to find out what's up their butts. But in reality, we are just a little speck on a piece of wood floating in the middle of a thousand oceans. And the irony is, if we could appreciate we're nothing, then we could live like we actually matter. Thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.